I got it from my father. He brought it back from World War II when he was stationed in Germany about 1945. More than likely he traded his cigarettes for it or something like that. Many of the beer steins and tankards were brought back from Germany by soldiers after the First World War, the Second World War. This particular yeah. mug would have been done in the early 1900s, probably about 1907. And we could tell that by the number. I'm surprised. So when your father purchased it, it already had some age to it. If you live in Germany, sort of in the older days, and, and you would go to a tavern, you would have your own stein that would be hanging, right, from a hook. And you would recognize it from the top, and you would say, give me my stein and fill it up. So this one is decorative and collectible. It is a large three liter stein, and it is made by Metlock. The mother company of this is French and, and Belgian, where it's Villeroy and Bosch, in English, Villeroy and Bosch. It is a gigantic company that makes ceramics and has been for a long time and is spread all over Germany and Belgium. Metlock is the town where this particular line was made. These became very, very collectible through the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and are less so today, but they're still really interesting. And whenever we see a Metlock piece, it grabs our attention. And the reason for that is because the quality of these is particularly nice, and the design is so particular and so well made. So there are some really sweet touches to this one. First of all, there's this, this crazy line which has something to do with the good man having to be praised three times and, and yet scolded nine times. And none of us is quite clear what the point of that is. Here, at the very beginning, you have a tankard and the frothy mugs on the floor, everything very rustic. Then you have the gentleman here with the bowling ball, but it's all done in very nice perspective, good shadowing, his unhappy friend back here, the pipe, and more bowling balls. So this is a really sweet example. It's not worth a whole lot of money. This one has a hairline crack to the handle. It's very fine, but it's right here and cannot be ignored. So in this condition, maybe two or three hundred dollars. No big money. In perfect condition, maybe five to seven hundred dollars. Hmm. That's nice to know. I'd told me a lot more than I knew before.